Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this 3D scene using only photos and rotoscope videos. So the first thing we need to do is to create a storyboard for our scene. And this is gonna be very helpful because it's gonna help us visualize what the scene is gonna look like before we actually do the very precise cutouts and the animation. So once we gather all our video and photos that we want to use in our scene, we're gonna bring our photos into Photoshop and we're gonna roughly cut them out using the pen tool and once you do a rough cutout, you're gonna hit Ctrl J to create a new layer with the shape selected. You're gonna do that with all your photos that you wanna use in your scene. And then you're gonna bring it into a new canvas where you're going to create the actual storyboard for your scene. If you have multiple scenes, you'll do this for every scene that you want to visualize. This is a great tool not only to help you, but also to help you uh, sell or pitch idea to a client and be able to have any kind of changes or feedback before you actually bring everything into After Effects for the animation. So once you're happy with the storyboard and the way your scene looks like, you're actually gonna do a really nice cutout of the photo using the pen tool, but this time it's not gonna be a rough cutout. This time you're gonna do it as best as you can and as precise as you can. Because now these photos need to look as best as possible for the animation. Once you have your cutouts for the storyboard, you're gonna merge the layers, pressing Shift, Control, Alt, E, and that's gonna help you merge all the layers without losing all your individual layers. And then you're gonna take the merge layer and bring it to your new canvas to build your storyboard. Now that you have all your pictures cut out, you're gonna do exactly the same for your video clips. If you wanna use video clips, you're gonna bring your video clips into After Effects and make sure these clips are not super long. You're just gonna rotoscope the part that you wanna use of the clip and you're gonna do it using the Roto Brush 2 in After Effects. This is gonna make it quick and easy to rotoscope. There's other ways to do it, but this is uh, an amazing tool that if you wanna know how to use it more in depth, I have another tutorial that I made a while back. I'm gonna link it down below. Now that we have all our photos cut out and our videos rotoscoped, we're gonna bring them all into After Effects. We're going to create a new comp and we're gonna create a new 3D camera. Then we're gonna create a new null object to control the camera with. You're gonna parent the camera to a null object. Now we need to start to composite our scene. I'm gonna bring the sky and the snow field first. You're gonna make all your layers 3D layers and you're gonna rotate them on the X or the Y axis if necessary. I rotated the sky on the X axis to give it a little more sense of depth. I did the same with the snow field. Now you're gonna resize these layers, but as you can see, they look stretched out. So we need to fix that. To fix, in order to fix it, you're gonna use the pin tool. You're gonna create four pins and then you're gonna bring those pins back as far as possible to make your image look good again. Don't go too far because you'll start seeing the background again. Now we're going to animate our camera. And this is important to do before we add more elements because uh, once we have the camera movement set up, we know the distance that the camera is gonna move. So we'll know exactly where we can add our new elements to and then we don't have to reanimate the camera. Now we're gonna add the rest of the photos and rotoscope videos into our scene and we're going to animate the position of our photos and our videos. For example, I have this fox right here that I rotoscoped, and as you can see, it's moving from the, from the right side of the screen to the left side. So I animated the position of the fox, so it looks like the fox is actually walking on the field as it was in the original video. Now we're gonna add the fake snow. If you have access to any uh, stock footage or free stock footage, uh, there's plenty of already made a fake snow uh, that you can just add to your scene. I don't have an account with any stock footage website like Storyblocks or anything like that. So I decided to create my own snow, but you definitely don't have to do it. I use Red Giant's Trapco Particular to create my fake snow. If you want to know how I did it, I created a tutorial a while back. So I'm going to link it down below as well. So once I created my fake snow, my scene was pretty much done. But if you want to have multiple scenes, you want to create a seamless or a very smooth transition. The way to do this is if your camera is moving in the Z axis, you wanna create some kind of a frame to create a transition with. In this example, I created this picture frame that it comes down at the end of the scene and that's gonna be my transition to the next scene. So what you need to do is you create a new solid and you put it right below your transition layer, which in this case is this picture frame. Now you're gonna resize the solid 
and you're gonna copy the position of your transition layer to your solid. And then you're gonna change the blending mode to Silhouette Alpha. This is basically gonna make your solid add transparency. And that's how you create transitions between animated scenes. So the last step is to bring your finished scene into a new comp. This is going to be the final comp where you're going to have all your finished scenes. Ideally, you will have uh, two, three, or four different scenes or whatever many scenes you have in your project. In this case, I just basically duplicated my finished scene so you can see how I transitioned from one scene to the next scene using the picture frame. I know I went through a lot of techniques on this video, but if you guys are interested and like and subscribe, I will create separate tutorials to go more in depth into each step that takes to create a video such as the one that I just showed you. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I will see you guys next time.